uh, stage liquid oxygen tank pressurizing at this time. Now coming up on the two minute mark, T minus two minutes and counting, T minus two. Not as much uh, reports now on the uh, communication circuits as everybody stands by monitoring the various consoles and watching the various parameters to ensure everything is okay. T minus one hour, one minute, 43 seconds and counting. We are still proceeding. And just at this Astronaut moment, a great gust of wind sweeps our press camp here. Second mark in our countdown. Mark, T minus 90 seconds and counting. T minus 90. We have conditioned the liquid oxygen in the first stage of the Saturn launch vehicle. All, all tanks in the two stages now pressurizing. Most of the work over these final several minutes concerned with the launch vehicle directed by the test conductor, Don Carlson. One minute, 10 seconds and counting. We still are go at this time. Coming up on one minute. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and counting. We are go for Apollo 7 at this time. This is the first man T test of the Saturn 1B. Now pressurized and the vehicle is go as is the spacecraft at this time. First Coming American three man mark. flight. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The first T step in the All final the series of tests uh, to get the American time. on the moon All by the end of, of 1969. seconds and counting. We'll get ignition of those eight engines in the first stage at the three second mark in the countdown. Now T minus 21 seconds and counting. We have completed our power transfer. The Saturn 1B launch vehicle, which now weighs 1.3 million pounds, is ready to go. Coming up on the 10 second mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. Slowly, slowly. This is launch control. We have cleared the tower. Roger, tower clear. Five seconds for that sound to reach us. The program has commenced. Beauty, a beauty of an absolute sound to sky. making their first space flight. Wally Shara, his third, riding that big spacecraft in the air. The voice is now third. mission control change from Jack King to One Paul minute, Heaney. 40 Houston. seconds. They've gone through maximum dynamic pressure. Flight director asks the flight dynamics officer if he likes it, and he says, yes, sir, it looks good. Look at the flame. 700 gallons of RP-1 and liquid oxidizer burning up there every second. That thing developing a million... Coming up on two pounds. minutes, Mark, two minutes. Uh, we're having a status check. Apollo 7 has been given a go for staging. Go for staging, the separation of that uh, first stage. That comes in about two minutes, 10 minutes, 10 seconds. seconds from now. That's the first critical point after liftoff. Inboard engines have shut down. And they're staging. Outboard engines have shut down. Shira call both events. He's got ignition and he says we're up to thrust on the second stage. That is our Igor long range The thrust is camera. okay at 2 minutes 40 seconds into the flight. So the 15th consecutive successful flight of the S... of 
one well, it's so beautiful that tower has really jettisoned it went way out we're nearly 50 miles altitude now and uh, about 60 miles downrange you see the escape tower tumbling up there in the upper Three left minutes, hand side five of the screen seconds into the flight he got the separation plan from the first sex uh, section and the sure, second uh, stage has ignited. Capcom uh, here in Houston, a very clean uh, voice communication today. Three minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. This is the best view we've ever had from our magnificent Igor camera. Trajectory and guidance uh, give another go here. Well, of course, it is a little bumpy on the second stage, a little bumpy. But uh, we, can't, we can't hear any complaints. 70 miles altitude and about 120 miles downrange. The second stage burns uh, until 10 minutes and 15 seconds into the flight. Another uh, six minutes. That's a 225,000 seconds into the flight pound thrust engine. Shiraz says the gimbal check looks very good. And his observation is the one G stuff is great. Apparently the G loads were quite low. That means the... We've been monitoring uh, Shiraz heart rate because that's the only physical parameter we have coming through and it uh, at launch and through the early stages ran about 90 to 92 beats. Four minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. The flight director is pulling all his stations here and is getting enthusiastic goes at every console. Five minutes into the flight. And we've heard from Don Isley, reported the spacecraft guidance go. 90 miles altitude now. Out, uh, out there and down a Don Ives, but he's monitoring some of these instruments and is Cunningham monitoring some too? Nick, can you tell us? Would uh, Isley and Cunningham both be watching instruments or is that one man's job? All right, uh, the um, Cunningham would be watching most of the uh, spacecraft status gauges and uh, uh, Don Isley would be looking at the information being displayed on the computer here. Uh, such as uh, altitude, uh, uh, what his uh, velocity is, and uh, his uh, launch parameters. Wally well, says she's riding like a dream at 5 minutes 58 seconds into the flight. It certainly sounds as though no one has had anything to complain about yet. Uh, all the words bark in the spacecraft are gleeful, delighted, uh, smooth, pleasant, and so forth. What would that look like here? Would there be any instrument to Going back to what Shiraz said, a little bumpy in the second stage. How would you have seen that on your display? Well, I think he probably could have seen this off his uh, attitude.